New at 10, you probably sit with your kids sometimes when they watch cartoons. But we're about to introduce you to a group of grown men and women who are obsessed with one particular cartoon, My Little Pony. I'm not talking about the toys or shows from the 80s and 90s. This is a phenomenon that blew up only in the last three years. And thanks to the internet, the fans are literally worldwide. WRAG's Natasha Chen goes one on one with the Mid South's most dedicated pony fans, otherwise known as bronies. I used to have a toy pony when I was five. Maybe you did too. Maybe your daughters have some of these now. Over two decades, there have been several My Little Pony movies and TV shows. Up until 2010, the main fan base was little girls, but not anymore. It is a little weird and a little strange, but weird and strange doesn't necessarily have to mean bad. Brian Waller is one of thousands of adults around the world who watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. He's also part of a Mid-South fan group with hundreds of members on its Facebook page. It really, really grew, you know, in 60, 80, you know, reached, when it reached 100, I, had, I posted a thing that said, would anybody be interested in actually having a face-to-face -face meetup? At their monthly meetups, they watch the latest episodes and share drawings and plushies they made themselves. It's a really great community of just really nice people that want nothing more than to just hang out and talk about ponies. So at this point, you're probably asking, why? The characters have a lot of depth. The voice acting is high quality. The music is really good. I mean, there are a couple songs I don't care for, but most of them I really enjoy. They say this newest fourth generation cartoon includes sleeker lines, brighter colors. Okay, I'm sorry, but how is any of this bad? They say it's well written, even with references to the Big Lebowski, and Star Trek actor John Delancey is one of the voices. Still, even Waller was skeptical at first. I saw people posting about my Facebook and I was, you know, you know, I would never watch something like this. This is really, this sounds so stupid. But like so many others, he gave it a try, liked it, and became a brony. You've probably seen posters like this before. The show spurred a frenzy of fan creativity, artwork, clothing, toys, even rock versions of the pony music. Waller says he also likes Star Trek, Doctor Who, and other shows. But this is different, and he knows the stigma. Old, fat, gay, you know, gay men that only watch the show. But he says the stereotypes are not true. He says it's like girls playing with G.I. Joes. Well, a lot of people wanted to get them. They were kind of hesitant to go to McDonald's. Like, can I have all, you know, can I have the, you know, the girls' toys? Though he knows some are uncomfortable with guys collecting ponies, enjoying a show, nothing else. Not acceptable for me to like something like this, but then you go to a sporting event, and people have, you know, their bodies painted, they'll have their shirt off, but that's, you know, that's perfectly okay, you know, that's acceptable everywhere. Maybe next time you will take a second look and not judge the cover of the book. And that's just good horse sense. Brony panels at comic conventions are so popular, they're standing room only, to the point where they're now standalone brony conventions. In Memphis, Natasha Chen, WREG, News Channel 3.